Adam Kinzinger is with now, Republican Congressman of Illinois, uh, member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Sir, how are you? And good day hey, good. to you. You too. Uh, we'll see what happens with Netanyahu. The press conference at 5 o'clock today should be must see TV. Here is mm -hmm. what the president brought to the UN yesterday on the topic of Iran. We cannot allow a regime that chants death to America and that threatens Israel with annihilation to possess the means to deliver a nuclear warhead to any city on Earth. Just can't do it. So that was the message from the president in the morning, and the Iranian president in the afternoon said this, unlawful unilateral sanctions in themselves constitute a form of economic terrorism and a breach of the right to development. Where is this relationship at the end of the day today, then? Well, it's a great relationship with Israel. I remember speaking with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, this is a number of years ago, and he kind of looked at us and he goes, you know, we're little Satan to Iran, but that means you're big Satan. So that's kind of an issue. And so there's a, a tight relationship there. And I think under this president, a bond with Israel where there's no daylight. Unlike the last administration, there were some questions in a lot of areas. They were still our ally. With Iran right now, the point is they're not going to get a nuclear weapon. And we're going to do everything we can. The president's going to do everything he can to say, we're, we're going to ensure that happens without the use of force, but just know the use of force is on the table. And, and with our technological capacity combined with our allies we can ensure that if need be through force hopefully we can bring our allies along and compel them to once again get in this regime to say it's not just about nuclear weapons in Iran it's also about their behavior in the region as we see Israel hit a lot of Iranian targets in Syria because they're just moving weapons to their enemies you have more sanctions that kick in the first week of November what is the effect of uh, uh, that uh, when, when the Iranians talk about economic terrorism, they're seeing the <laughs> sanctions being used as a tool against them, clearly. Yeah, well, that may be economic terrorism, but what they're doing is real terrorism, uh, you know, where they're destabilizing regions, giving uh, weapons to the enemies of Israel. Uh, so November will be an interesting time. I think there's going to be a lot of our allies and companies of our allies, German and French companies, that are going to have to make a decision. Do they want to cut off doing business with the largest economy in the world, the United States, in order to get into this small, declining, unstable economy in Iran? Keep in mind that the Iranian people themselves are protesting in the street because they know their leadership is stealing the money that was given to them to destabilize areas like Syria and Yemen. Well, so I mean, that, that's, uh, that's going to be quite interesting. Playing. That's the card you're playing to see whether or not it works. Sir, thank you for coming back with us today. Anytime. Adam Kinzinger, the Republican.